Hello guys, Kuntal is back here again. I know, staying at home, all of you are passing a boring time. But during this corona disaster, that's the key. Stay home, stay safe. Today, I am going to make a series of video. I am planning to triple boot my MacBook. I will install Windows and Linux along with Mac OS. No, 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 no. I am not talking about virtualization, VMware, parallel desktop etc. I am talking about real OS installation. As this is a long process, I will split this into four separate videos. On my first video, I will install Windows 10 using Bootcamp Assistant. On my second video, I will install Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. All of you know Ubuntu is a popular Linux distribution. On my third video, I will use Refine tool to add triple boot menu at startup. So when you power on your MacBook, you can select which operating system to boot in. Now on my fourth episode, I will show you how to improve Windows 10 bootcamp performance by tweaking CPU clock speed, overclock, undervolt etc. And also, last but not the least, I will make an extra video to compare performance between macOS, Windows and Linux. So this is the first episode of this video series. I will provide link of other episodes in this video's description box when they are get ready. Within a couple of weeks, hopefully. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get updated. By the way, some of my viewers complained about my accent. I know my accent is terrible. So if you need, you can enable subtitle caption on YouTube. Don't forget to comment whether you liked it or not. Now grab a coffee mug and let's get started our first episode. First thing first, we need to download Windows 10 ISO file which can be downloaded completely free from Microsoft's official website. In this scenario, I am downloading Windows 10 64-bit image which is about 5 GB in size. When download is finished, open macOS search tool and type bootcamp. From search result, open bootcamp assistant app. Bootcamp assistant app will help you to install Windows on your MacBook. Back up your important data if you wish before continue. Then click on continue button. In next window, browse the Windows 10 ISO image that you have just downloaded from Microsoft's website. You will find that in downloads folder. Then use that slider to specify how much disk size you want to allocate for your Windows partition. In my case, I am allocating 200 gigabyte for Windows, but you can start with as low as 32 gigabyte space. Now click on install. Hold on few minutes, macOS will download Windows support software and latest driver files. Then it will automatically partition according to your specified size and then copy necessary files from Windows 10 ISO to your SSD. Copy is finished and we need to restart our MacBook. Exiting from macOS, it will reboot into Windows 10 installation process. So I can't use my screen recorder software anymore. Alternatively, I will use my phone to capture screen externally. Note, during boot, holding down option key in your keyboard, you can manually select which OS to start. Enter Windows menu. Setup process will start within few seconds. Now select language, time, currency format and keyboard layout. Click on next. Click on I don't have product key. Trust me, you don't need any product key. Click on next. In next window, 
select Windows 10 version. I am selecting Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. Wait till computer finishes its task and reboot. After reboot, select your region, your keyboard layout. It will ask you to connect to your network. But I will skip this at this moment because I don't want to log in with Microsoft's account. I want to set up local account without any syncing to Microsoft's services. However, that is totally your choice. Enter your name, enter your password to secure your computer, retype to confirm password. Now create three security question answer pair so that you can use them later if you ever forget your login password. I don't need activation history across devices, so selecting no. I will not use Cortana Voice Assistant app, so again no. Oh, I am not interested to share my personal data with Microsoft, so disabling all those privacy toggles. Who finally landed on my Windows 10 desktop. Hold on your beer. Still we need to install Macbook drivers. Driver installation wizard will automatically appear on the desktop. Click on some next 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 blah blah blah. Driver installation is completed. I will add my Logitech Bluetooth mouse to check whether Bluetooth driver is working properly. Oh yeah, it's working flawlessly. From Bootcamp Control Panel, you can toggle between FN and F1, F2, F3 ETC keys. I will also enable one finger tap to click option cause I don't like hard press to click on taskpad. When feather touch is enough, why would you waste your energy pressing your finger so hard? I can assure you, keyboard, backlight, built-in speaker, microphone, trackpad, all are working great. Except, hmm, except one thing, and that is performance, which did not actually match with the Mac OS. You can do your daily tasks like browsing, document editing, video watching, programming, etc. without any hiccup. But when you need a long term CPU intensive task like video editing, then you will face a huge performance drop. But I assure you, we will try to improve all performance issues in our fourth episode. So I am not talking about that performance drop right now. I have a huge task in ahead. Yes, that is installing Ubuntu Linux in my MacBook. I assume installation will be rather easy, but definitely I am going to suffer with the driver compatibility. Subscribe my channel. We have a long way to go. See you in my next episode. I am Kuntal, signing out for today.